Hello guys, and welcome to the LP you guys chose me to do, voted for, so I hope you enjoy. This is... The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time for Ocarina now. So it makes better sense to me. Created by Nintendo, 1998. So what is this? This is a cult classic amongst many, considered to be one of the best games ever created. But, do I agree with that? I think it's an absolutely great game, but one of the best? Meh. That's not up to me to say, really. Anyways, I have practiced this once. I'm probably not going to do the best job, but I guess maybe that'll add to the fun of it. So, let's stop wasting time and let's start. Obviously, I'm going to name it myself. Also, I'm using a keyboard. So, I apologize for any hiccups that involve controls. That's just me. So, let's start. Enjoy the opening cutscene. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule. Long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deco Tree. Bum, bum, bum. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. The one who sleeps with his eyes open, blinking repeatedly. that all was about. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Luna? No, it's not, sadly. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil is descending upon this realm. Malevolent forces are even now mustering at to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kakiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But, before this tremendous evil power, even my power is, is nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now! Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly! The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends on thee. That Navi sets off to find that boy without a fairy. Who could it be? I guess I'll have to sit down, shut up, and find out. Aw, oh, she just got teabagged right under the crotch. Hello! She doesn't even say hello back. What a dick. He's humping a rock. Ah, that must be the place. If I was editing the video, there would be a totally overused, wasted joke from, Guita from Grand Theft Auto 5 and 4 and all that. Hello, Steel, wake up. That's me! The Great Deco Tree wants to talk to you. Get up! I don't wanna. Hey, come on! Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? What if I stay here again and won't succeed? I mean, you heard nothing. But no, we have to get up, so let's listen. Finally woke up. I'm Navi the Fairy. I was never asleep in the first place. The Great Deku Tree to at, at the Great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you. So let's get going right now. If it were only so easy. We can't go to him quite yet. So 
Let's just leave our house. Use the thumbsticks to move. Well, the thumbstick. What did I say? Thumbsticks? I don't know. Mishaps, that's why. Yahoo! Hi, Steel! Ooh, she wants to talk to us. Let's climb down the ladder and find out what she wants to say. Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, Steel! Wow, that's great news! I'm so happy for you! Now you're a true Kokiri, Steel. Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going! Go see the Great Deku Tree! Fine. Thumbstick to move. Z is Z targeting, which will be explained later. Z buttons will be explained later. Up there, that blue one that keeps going to attack and nothing is our A button. Use it to perform context sensitive actions when it shows the prompt. And B, which is the green one, does absolutely nothing. On the bottom right, we have our mini map. And on the bottom left, we have our money, which is rupees or ruppies. Yeah, let's do it that way ruppies. If we hit C up, the great Deku Tree has summoned you. Please come with me in a minute. Now, we can try to pick these up when it says grab, but we can't. We'll just throw up. We'll just ret instead. Alright, go up to the soul and let's enter it. Sexually. As I'm a young boy swimming in raging hormones, growing up. Alright, you need to be careful there, because there's a boulder flying about this room. Use your Zeke targeting to see better. Yeah, can't even pick up that weedy little thing. Hi there. It hit me. You guys saw that, right? It was turning this way. We got in its way. We were being very rude. That's what happens when you get in other people's way and they hit you. What's this? Visit the house of know-it-all brothers to get your answers for all item-related questions. I don't wanna. Anyways, approach the chest, hit A, and let's see what we got. It's Beeth, our sword. We got the Kakiri sword and the equipment subscreen selected with the cursor and equip it with A. This is a hidden treasure of the Kokiri, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. So, now that we have our sword, if we hit start to enter our menu... Yeah, this is our sub-menus. Our menu and our sub-screens. We have the map sub-screen, which shows our current position. We have the item sub-screen, which has nothing. And then we have our equipment, which is our sword, tunics, and boots. What's that other second slot? Well, you'll find out not too long from now, actually. So, hit A to equip it. We'll hit B to show you that if you hit B in the menu, you can save. Or you can hit start to return. Watch wait for Mr. Mean Boulder to pass, and let's play Fall the Leader. If we're really nice, he won't hit us this time. Also, with our sword, we can now destroy those stupid bushes that we couldn't lift. Bastards. How dare they be rooted to the ground. And on the top left, I never did explain, is our health. If it depletes, you die. And your quest is over. The end. Now you can Z target those rocks, but I don't think we can pick them up right now. Anyways, green rupees will give us one rupee, and blue, as you saw earlier, will give us five. Just run over it to pick it up. Screw you. How dare you teach me to- how dare you make me read things and teach me crap. I hate signs. At least I don't think we can pick up rocks, can we? Yeah, we can. Whee! Destruction, because we're boys. We like to fucking destroy everything. Fuck off. Oh, and they dropped rupees. How kind of them. It's very nice of them. Alright, now we need to build up some money in this tutorial area. Yeah, if you run over the edge of something, your character will automatically jump. Rolling, I think, makes you go a little teeny bit further. I'm not sure on that. Be sure to quote me if I'm wrong. Well, hello there. Hi, Steel. Look this way. Look over here with Z and talk to me with A, which I did earlier. Yes, yes! That's how you use a fairy. 
It's so great that you finally have a fairy partner. I'll teach you how to talk to people using your fairy. When a fairy flies near a person or thing, proceed to look in that direction. If you see targeting, you can talk to people from a distance, like we're doing now. When you have nothing that you can target, you can proceed to just look forward. It's an instant ca ca camera straighten outer. Now, we need to get that little item right there in the shop. What is that item? Well, you'll find out later. In like, just a minute. Just need to get a little more money from the tutorial world. Press forward to just jump, stupid. You're too dumb to figure it out yourself. The best way to earn money, I think, is just to go in and out of this shop. I don't know if the rupee behind that area spawns again. Let's find out. It might. Nah. SOL. Yeah, emulation glitches. I love it. Alright, let's hop, skip, and jump our way to five rupees. Thank you, Pinkie Pie. And now we should have enough money. Oh, it should be one rupee off. You fucking idiot. Welcome. Use our direction, our stick to. Oh, yeah, pfft, of course, I was right. For some reason, I was thinking 35, even though my brain was telling me, stupid, it's 40. How to not Zelda. How to game grumps. Alright, let's go get that shield. We need it. Why would we want to talk to the great Deku Tree without it? Find out soon. So, once you have 40 rupees, buy the shield. We got a Deku Shield. Switch to the equipment subscreen and blah blah blah. You know how to equip stuff. Press R to crouch and defend. If you press R while Z targeting, you can move while defending. No. So, hit start. And go to this and equip it. You can also hit Z and R to quickly sh shoot through the menus. Alrighty, with our sword and shield, let's go this way. Sorry, we can learn to swim if you want. Same thing as running around, stick to move, and if you hit A while in the water, you'll dive. Your dive distance depends on certain conditions. We'll explain it another time. So, once you have the sword and shield, speak to this little nutbag. If you want to see the great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Eh? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku Shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri Sword? Good grief. All right there, Charlie Brown. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Mido, I mean Trixie, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot. How did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the great Tekka Tree, huh? <laughs> oh, shut up. Jealous bastard. All right, now we're gonna get to introduce to nothing except hallway and enemies. First enemies, which are Deku Baba. Though it looks withered, it can still hurt you if you touch it. Easy to kill, just cut it with your sword. And it drops a Deku stick. Now I think there's another way you can, uh, another thing that they'll drop if you cut them a certain different way. I think it's, I just don't remember how to do it. Come here. They drop Deku Stick, so let's equip that really quick. To equip an item, just hit a C button. You have three slots, yay. Alright, let's move forward. Great Deku Tree, I'm back. Why is all of Navi's dialogue blue? Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Steel, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the great and powerful trick, I mean Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons have must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Still, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have the courage to enough to undertake this task? Yes, I do. Then enter, brave Steel, and thou too, Navi. 
Navi the fairy, thou must aid steel. And still, when Navi speaks, use up sea to listen well to her words of wisdom. And with that, we can enter the great Deku tree. So let's see what's inside. Let's see what the inside of a tree looks like. A living one of all that, with a magnificent mustache. Welcome to the inside of the Deku Tree. If you notice, we don't have a mini-map. Well, I'll explain a lot of that later, so what awaits us in this mysterious place? This dungeon, what curse has befallen him, and how can we eliminate it? Well, find out next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Ain't I just the tease?